welcome. <clears throat> it's Wednesday, it's the 10th of May, and it's just after 8 o'clock. And we'll start, as usual, with the AUD USD. Um, well, that, this is continuing down nicely for us. Uh, it's actually bounced off the 30.9 on the RSI. Um, but I, I think that should continue down today. It's just coming on to a little bit of support, so that might take him a, a day or two just to get over that. And uh, we'll see how that goes later on. Euro JPY. Uh, we've just had a little bit of... Um, uh, well, actually, we've had the news from uh, Japan. The uh, Bank of Japan has given a speech and they were more hawkish than uh, everybody expected. So that was a bit of new good news for the Japanese yen. But we've also had, uh, in the last half hour, a bit of good news for the uh, the euro. The, the French figures have come out and they, they were a little bit better than expected. <clears throat> so uh, we've got a little bit of a jump on the uh, on the euro Japanese yen. Euro dollar, same thing. Got a small candle there. It's not much, all things being considered. Um, you know, so we're still bearish. Uh, of those. Uh, same again, uh, Euro, uh, New Zealand, Dollar. Um, I'm going to move my trend line on this because uh, it's obviously in the wrong place at the moment. So I'm just going to back it off over there and take a little bit of the angle off it. There we go. See how that goes. Right. Excellent. Uh, Pound, out. this is again, it's continuing up. Um, we're uh, quite high, we're above the 69.1. I'm not expecting, um, I'm expecting this now just to travel along the RSI at the top, keeping above the 69.1, uh, which will give us um, upward, upward movement on the pound, out. Out CHF. Um, well, we've had a little bit of weakness in the uh, Swiss franc. Uh, I think that's due to the um, the CAC doing quite well. So, so money's flowed out, um, and uh, we'll see how far this goes. It might go up to the 20-day moving average. If it does, uh, this is only a small position I've got here at the bottom. I'm going to put a little bit more in. The uh, commitment of traders for this pair were heavily bearish. Uh, we are below the 30.9. Uh, we might go up to the 50 here and maybe bounce off back down. But um, we'll see how that goes later on today. Yeah. S&P 500. I'm actually short this. I'm slightly into profit. Um, you know, th there is no reason for this, so you know, don't all rush out and go short the S&P 500. Uh, I think, and I have no evidence for it, that uh, th this is going to fall. I, I see this um, uh, large candle and uh, the, the, bit of, the bit of a jump up uh, over the last three or four days, uh, like a, a last ditch effort, and. Uh, I think this is going to come back down, but it's just thought that the, I haven't got anything there to actually substantiate my thoughts. Uh, but uh, and it is only a small position, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, move on now. Oops, this is the Oud Cad. Cad. This is. Um, yeah, the uh, the price of the oil has gone a little bit up and down. If you look at the um, oil price and you look at the USD CAD and you see the action at the top there and you look at the oil price and it's, uh, it is like a bit of a reversal. So, um, you know, we will... Well, where are we? Our CAD. Sorry. Um, yeah, a little bit of a green candle this morning. Uh, not unduly worried about that. I think this is going to follow through. We have had a steep drop here. So a little bit of a pullback is sort of expected. 
Uh, we'll see how far that goes. We're still below the 50 on the RSI. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm content uh, I think that should continue down. Uh, USD JPY. Uh, uh, well, I put a top on this um, at 114,765. Uh, uh, you know, I think if it gets up there, the commercials are really going to step on it heavy. Or if it gets up to 115. So uh, I think this is running out of steam a little bit now. Um, we're above the 69.1. We're coming up to the trend line. <sighs> I'm really hoping this is uh, this is done. Silver, um, yeah, we've come down onto support here. We're struggling to get past it. I bought my stops down. I might just bring them down a little bit further. This trade has done really well for us. Um, we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. But we've flattened out on the RSI. We're well below the 30.9. Uh, if it holds down there, it's going to continue down. So there we go. Uh, USD Mexican peso. Uh, this is starting to turn around for us. Uh, I think we've, we've got uh, one trade in profit, and we've got the other one at about entry. So uh, there are quite heavy swaps on this one. So you know, not nice. Uh, but uh, it is going to be a good trade for us. Uh, hopefully, this will be a trend that we can follow, uh, like the silver trend. And also with the Euro and New Zealand dollar, uh, that um, is a positive swap, which is really nice. Uh, USD CAD, a little bit of a setback with the oil price, uh, but it is actually continuing long. Um, It'll be nice when it gets above the 69.1. So we'll see how that goes. Oil price. It's coming down. It's finding a bit of support here. Um, I, I think it's going to follow through. Uh, it's at the 30.9 on the RSI. Uh, it's had three attempts. It's, um, it's a bit of a gamble. It, it's oversold. Um, but I, th I think that's going to follow through. I'd just like to say thank you all for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions and the likes. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Bye now.